<laughs> we exit the FA Cup here with a 3-1 defeat at Worthing. What did you make of the game? I just thought we were unbelievably unlucky. You know, um, obviously we hit the woodwork so many times. Um, just disappointed. We've gone out with a long throw, switched off a long throw, um, and um, a bit of lazy defending really. And that was it. You know, other than that, I'm so proud of the boys. Honestly, the energy levels. But I just thought in general, I just thought we outplayed them, outsmarted them. Um, set players are very dangerous. Um, I just thought oh, all in all, we were a far better team. But it's all about results in the FA Cup, and I wish them all the very best because they're a good, very good football inside, and we set up very well. You know, we the, I thought the boys put a really good shift in because um, arguably they're the best side uh, football inside um, in in the league above us. So, but I thought we were outstanding. I, I really did. But that's what's frustrating about us. You know, we're. Um, we were inconsistent, but I think um, I, I think you know we we didn't win at the FA Cup. We had a right old go, and I think um, we can't. I couldn't have asked for any more. I'm so proud of the boys. Obviously, we hit the woodwork three times <laughs> in that game. I mean, we came close on so many other occasions yeah. as well. The keeper made a few decent saves. So, despite the defeat, you can take a lot of positives from that performance going forward. Yeah, definitely. Just got to be consistent level because we're a new squad. I think, like I said before, it'll take, it'll take time to gel and everything else. But um, we take this form into um, the league and then we'll have a good season i really do believe that but it's just that consistency you know anyone can you know it's the fa cup today um it's a very good side but it just shows you what we can do um and i love this today i really did love this and i thought it was on our front foot from the start um just disappointed Obviously, i thought this was a, um, a worldly goal first goal was a lovely strike and he's a lovely player very good footballer um but overall look, i want to wish these all the very best because they're a, it's, a, it's a good football club they've got good staff here good players um and i think they'll realize They've had, a, they've had a game today, um, which is what we wanted. I mean, one thing I was impressed with was the fact that we went 3 0 down, and, and instead of dropping our heads, we seemed to go up another gear and we really put them under pressure for that final 20 minutes. And on another day, one of those mm. chances goes in, and it could have been an incredible comeback. Yeah, well, the, uh, do you know what? It went 3 0, and I said the row, we nicked a goal, which we did, and then we nicked, obviously that'd be squeaky bum time for them. Um, you know, we just, and we, and we, we were so unlucky, like I say, hit the post, hit the bar, um, had clearances off the line, scrambles here and then everywhere. Um, if we nicked that goal with 10, 15 minutes ago, that would have been sweet to run for him, but it didn't happen. Um, but um, like I say, it was, um, it was a. I really enjoyed it. Do you know what I mean? I know we lost, and, and it's not good, obviously, for the for the coffers. Obviously, we need to, you know, get as much money as we can. Um, but I want to say that, you know, I'm proud of every single one of them. Jacob Marsden probably didn't cover himself in glory for the third goal, but other than that, he made a lot of really top saves, kept us in it at times. So coming in from a long-term injury, missed a lot of pre you know, the end of pre-season, missed the start of the season. So how impressed were you with his display? Yeah, he did. I think um, I think he had to because obviously we was pushing and uh, I had to gamble, um, put another centre forward on, um, and we and at the you know since the FA Cup, so I had to gamble. So that was going to happen. And yeah, this is, uh, he made some good saves, but you know it wasn't because um, they opened us up through fantastic football. It was just because we gambled really. You know, being three 0 down, um, and he, obviously, yeah, if they nicked another one, that would have been all over. But we went up the other end, and, and we scored. And like I say, three one. It was still game wasn't over um, with 20 minutes to go. Um, but yeah, really pleased with Jacob. Um, but you know, still, you know, we need everyone together still, and it's a it's a long old season. But um, like I say, I ain't got much more to say. I'll be honest with you. I'm just very pleased, and and thanks to all the fans as well. The fans are an absolutely different class, and you know, we heard them all. I think they. You know, I spoke to him just now as we was um, walking back and coming to see yourselves. Um, you know, they, they saw the effort, and um, I think that's all you can ask for. But I think the bigger picture for me, I thought the football we played was outstanding. Honestly, the, the movement and the work rate and uh, the way we kept the ball was excellent. Is there an update you can give on both Oli Box and Dwayne and Florey Achim Pong? Obviously, different situations. Dwayne was red carded last week, and Oli's got a, an injury of some sort. Can you give us an update? Yeah, and we miss Oles. You know, everybody knows how much I like Oles. Um, He's got a, um, I, want to, I want to say pubis bone, it's something to do with his pubic bone, and I'm not, I, I, I'm, like I say, I ain't got a bloody clue, so I ain't got, um, it's something to do with his pubic, but, but it's all fine, it's all good, um, there's no tear, um, it's just, um, just a hard ground sort of um, injury, but he was in a little bit of pain, but it, it'll be okay, I'm hoping he'll be fit for next week, um, so he'll be in contention for next week, but again, it'll be hard for him to get back in the side, especially if they keep playing the way they do, um, but um, we do miss holes. Um, and with Dwayne, he got a three-game suspension. So again, that kicked us in the teeth a little bit. And uh, but that was just through uh, a poor official last week. And then obviously we're out of this cup competition, but we're straight into another one, the FA Trophy next week. Home to Dulwich Hamlet. How are you feeling going to that one? Well, hopefully it's going to be a big gate. You know, they'll bring a few. We'll bring a few. I think um, it'll be a cracking game. Um, you know, like I say, we, we're at home. So um, yeah, we'll hopefully put on another good performance. And this time. 
get a little bit of luck and get those goals which we fully deserve today. Um, but Lady Luck was missing today, but next week, you know, let's get a win and, and go for the next round. But we know it's going to be difficult to a good side as well. So, but um, I'm very pleased with everybody here. Cheers, Eddie. Thank you very much. Thank you.